what's up guys and welcome back to my channel so today I decided that I was just gonna basically do a get ready with me chit chat basically anything that comes to mind that I feel like you guys would want to know about any recent updates in my life or in mine and Kai's life I figured I'll just do my makeup and fill you in as things come to mind also today we're gonna run a few errands, we have a few things to do for the wedding, and I'm gonna go do a leg workout, which I am gonna include in this video. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be filming our errands, maybe, maybe not, but my idea for this video was basically a chit chat, get ready with me, and a leg workout. So, let's start getting ready. My face is washed and I've already applied my eyebrows off camera because that takes a hot minute and you guys really don't need to like sit here and sit through that. So, let's get started. I'll also show you the products that I'm using. You guys have seen almost all of these products. I don't think anything is new in any of my other makeup videos. Um, so it's going to be a little repetitive, but if you're new here, welcome. And these are the products I use every single day. First starters, we have the Skin Laundry Essential Daily Moisturizer. I'm getting close to the end of this and I'm really sad about it, but it's been really awesome. I got it for Christmas and I have been really liking it. Next we have foundation. This has been has been my favorite combo lately or for the last like six months or more. Clearly I like it. It's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation and the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Liquid Foundation. What I do first is I take the stick and I just make really simple stripes all over my face. And you can totally leave it like this if you want. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. <laughs> and then I go in with the liquid and a trick or a hack or whatever you want to call it, a tip. I use the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and I apply that to my sponge, like that. Then I take the liquid, and oh, that's wrong way. And I put a little bit of the liquid on the sponge, and then I go in and put it all over my face. This is just like a little technique to help make your foundation last a little bit longer. I'll do a few more techniques too, like in this routine, just to kind of show you a few more ways that you can make your foundation lasts all day. So while I continue to put this all over my face, um, one of the things that Kai and I are doing today for our wedding is we're actually going to sit down and pick out some food options that we want to have, which is really exciting. And then in a few weeks, we're actually going to go to our venue and sit down with our coordinator and have basically a food tasting. So we'll pick out our favorite options as far as like on paper what we would want and then when we go there they're going to already be made for us and we're going to get to try them and then make our final decision on what we actually want to have at our wedding which is really exciting so we'll be picking out like entrees sides desserts which if you know me you know i have an insane sweet tooth so i'm really excited about trying all the desserts <laughs> so yeah that's one of the things we're gonna do today we also have to go grocery shopping but it's for like three things, so it's not that exciting. Speaking of grocery shopping, actually, I have been having a really hard time lately as far as cutting because I'm, I'm in a deficit and it's been a slow, it's been a slow deficit. Basically, I reached out to my coach a few months back and said, you know, I want to do a slow cut for the wedding. Well, my body has not been responding well to it at all and I think there's just a lot of factors that go into it with moving, um, having the stress of that, having the stress of planning the wedding. Stress can do crazy things to your body and I think for the first time in my life, I'm actually seeing my body respond to stress in a very different way than it ever has. So it's been really important to kind of hone in on that and figure out where I can minimize that stress. I've been dairy free for like six years now, but when we moved in, we came across this milk that is lactose free and it's like high in protein and so I started drinking that kind of tested it out to see how my stomach would react and I was totally fine so I've been drinking that for the last 
two months and I, I just noticed like my body has just seemed so inflamed. Everything just kind of looks swollen and I don't know if I'm explaining this well but like everything just feels inflamed. My arms, my stomach, my legs and nobody else might not notice it but like I notice it and I can tell that something was just off. So I was trying to figure out okay what has changed in the last two months? Why is this happening? Basically, I'm not 100% sure it is dairy, but I figured that would be a really good place to start since I did start incorporating a little bit more dairy. I was eating Greek yogurt, eating frozen yogurt, and I was always telling myself like, okay, like you're lactose intolerant, but you're okay with froyo, you're okay with Greek yogurt. So I was eating that. And just because I wasn't having physical pain from having those products that have dairy in it, I think my body still internally was struggling with it, which was causing like the inflammation. Maybe. Okay. I'm not saying this is for sure. I'm still testing it out. So basically, last week, I think I'm on day five, so it hasn't been a full week. Um, five days ago, I decided to completely cut out dairy. Like, I'll look at the ingredients on the package. If it says it contains milk, I'm not going to eat it. So I've tried to be super strict. I'm going to try this for two weeks see what happens. So far my body has actually been responding really well. Inflammation in my stomach has gone down a lot. My weight has actually started to go down like every day. I notice not like a significant change but like I'm noticing changes just in this five days. And honestly if it does mean that I have to just go dairy free forever like that's really not that big of a deal. I'm not that sad about it. I don't miss ice cream. I don't miss cheese. Um, I think the hardest part is just going to be all those little things that you eat, like whether it's like a pastry or just something little and then you look at the ingredients and you see that it contains milk and you may, might not have had any clue that it did. <laughs> I think that's going to be like the hardest part, but it's worth it because I want to see progress. I don't want to keep hurting myself internally even though I'm not feeling it, like I don't want to be damaging my gut health like I want to just make sure that it's good that's the update on that um, I know that's super random but if you are struggling with inflammation and you currently eat dairy it might be an option I know a lot of people will either cut out dairy or they'll cut out gluten I'm starting with dairy because I hope it's not gluten and so far I think dairy might have been the thing we shall see I'll keep you updated but that's basically it. Sorry for that little rant. Well, not really rant, it was a long update. So I wanna continue this. Now I'm gonna go in with the Cody Loose Face Powder Air Spun. This is really nice. I will say it has a very strong fragrance. So if you don't like anything that is super fragrant, um, you might not like this. It smells like something that I would picture my grandma using. And I mean that with the most respect. Like it just smells I can't even tell you. I don't even know if it'll, it would say it on here. Fragrance. All it says is there's fragrance in here. So, yeah. So, it does have a smell. Another trick to make your makeup last longer that I've noticed, I used to apply my face powder with a brush and it totally works, but I then started using the same beauty blender that I use on my face with the powder. So, I just kind of dip it and I just press it. And I'm not pressing very hard. I'm pressing just like really lightly. And this routine, does not take very long. It's taking me longer right now because I'm talking, but this is like my everyday like 10 minute routine. Now that our powder's done, this is something new that I've been trying and it has been amazing when it comes to making my makeup last all day. After you have your foundation and your powder on to set that foundation, I actually go in again with this Morphe setting spray and spray my whole face before I go in with any bronzers or highlight or blush or anything like that. You just wanna make sure that it's completely dry before you go in with the other powders. So while that's drying, if you follow me on Instagram, I did just post the other day that I found my wedding dress. And it's really crazy to say that because it was one of those things that I like just felt defeated every time I went. I've never had like a clear picture of what I wanted, so anytime I would go into a bridal store and they would ask me, what is it that you're looking for? What style is it that you want? I could never really tell them. I would just try on a bunch of different dresses because I was just wanting to try them on and 
get that feeling like, yes, this is the one. So we went back to a place that we had been before, my mom, my sister, my niece and I, and it was actually really funny because the dress that I had tried on previously that was at my like number one spot ended up not being at my number one spot again. I tried it on again and I didn't get those feelings and it's funny because the dress that I had tried on previously that was basically in my number two spot ended up being my number one spot. So I'm really glad I went back and tried them on again with like new fresh eyes. And yeah, so I got my dress and it's actually gonna be here tomorrow on the day that this video is going live and I'm so excited. I can't wait to try it on. Yeah, I'm just really excited. I wish I could share more with you guys because I'm really eager and it's been killing me not telling Kai like any of these details because I just want to fill him in on everything but I can't. So I'm like keeping this little secret to myself. So I'm so excited. Yeah, I feel like the wedding is quickly approaching. We are just a little like a week over. No, oh my gosh, what's today's date? It's the 14th. We have four months and three days and that is literally going to be here tomorrow. That's so crazy. Wow. Yeah, this is overwhelming. If any of you have gotten married, how are you handling, or how did you, or are you, if you're planning it right now, did you handle the stress of planning a wedding? Because I didn't think it was going to be like this, and it's like this. I will say, I only plan on doing this once in my life. I do not want to go through this again. Let me know. Send me a DM. Comment down below. Do whatever you want. Just contact me and let me know, because it would mean a lot. Alrighty, let's move on. I didn't think I was going to be so chatty in this, so I'm sorry. Next, we're going to move on to bronzer, and this is my holy grail bronzer. This is the Hula by Benefit. Let's put this on. Bronzer is done. Next, I'm gonna go in with blush. My all time favorite blush is this Butter Blush by Physicians Formula in the shade Plum Rose. I love this stuff. Oh, that's upside down. Clearly, I love it. I'm like full blown pan. It's just sitting like right on this outer corner. I need to get a new one. Next, I'm going to go into my Makeup Geek Highlighter in the shade Luster. Makeup Geek's highlights are phenomenal. Like, they're really good and they're really affordable. Now, I'm just going to go in and set my eyebrows. I like to use the Gimme Brow by Benefit. I'm in shade number three, if you're wondering. Now I'm just going to apply some mascara. Um, I don't wear false lashes every day. I really only wear them on like super special occasions or when I'm filming like a tutorial with a look that requires them. On my day to day, I definitely don't take the time to apply false lashes power to the girls who do because I know a lot of girls who wear them on a regular basis and I give you so much freaking credit it's ridiculous but then again at the same time they probably have a doubt with such a science to where they that takes them two minutes or it takes me 10 15 it takes them two I would do it every day if it took me two but it doesn't so we stick to the regular mascara and I'm using the voluminous lash paradise by um, L'Oreal and it is so freaking good you guys this is a drugstore it's in the shade black sorry i was like staring at it trying to figure out what color this is black noir it's so good it is so good you get it at target it's so good when i first tried this i was super hesitant and very skeptical i even in my last get ready with me video or my everyday makeup routine video i even said that it was like my second time using it and i wasn't sure how i liked it Scratch all that. I'm a firm believer. You need this in your life. I would say it is super comparable to the Better Than Sex mascara. The packaging is even like identical. So I would say this would be a dupe for that. But it's so good. So 
go get yourself some of this um, mascara. You won't be disappointed. Now that our mascara is done, I basically just like to go back in and touch up anything that I feel like needs touch up. Typically it's just adding a little bit more blush. I don't know why it always tends to be blush, but it usually is. Maybe I just go a little too light handed at the, on the first round, so I need to go back through and give me a little bit more. Now that we are finished. Basically, I just need to apply my lipstick. I'm going to go back in with the Holy Grail setting spray and spray everything to lock it in place so it doesn't move yet again. I know we already did that. We're going to do it again. It smells really good too. You want to make sure that is dry. While that's drying, I'm going to put my lipstick on and this is my absolute favorite, 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 favorite lipstick. I use it all the time. This is the Stila Stay All Day. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I don't know why. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Carmelo. It is so beautiful. I love it. Um, I've been using it for years. I've gone through a million tubes. I recommend it to everyone. So let's go ahead and put our lipstick on. That's my everyday routine. Typically, when I'm not filming, it takes me about 10 minutes, so it's super quick, super easy. I will write all of these products down below, so if you didn't catch them, they will be linked down below. If you have any questions about any specific products that I mentioned, please feel free to ask. I will absolutely answer them. Yeah, so that's basically it. Thank you for joining me for this half of the video and listening to um, a few little updates in my life. This was fun. I will definitely do it again. And let me know if you like this style video or clip. I know the video is not over, but if you like this style, let me know. Now we are going to get ready and move on with our day and then go train legs. And I think that will be what you see next. So thanks for watching this part. I will see you in the next clip when I'm training legs. <laughs> Let me see, let me see all of that. <laughs> it's my pre-workout dance. Okay, so we're about to head out. It's pre-workout time. Kai finished all the pre-workout that he had made for the both of us. Sorry. So I'm I just gonna dry skip this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Megawatt cotton candy. It's so good. Wait, let me see it. I'm not the best at dry scoopage. Um, so don't judge me. Dry scoopage? And I don't use the full scoop of Megawatt because Lauren knows I don't need it. I don't drink caffeine. That's even too much. <laughs> I'm a pansy. We're gonna go with that. Maybe I'll do a little more, but like I said, this is really difficult for me, so baby step. <laughs> okay, here we go. You got this. Watch me choke on camera. <laughs> Had a girl. Mm-hmm. Good work. I'm proud of you. Mm. Sorry. My tongue is stinging from it's sour. Okay, I did it. You did we're it. We're good. Woo! Now we're good for the gym. Let's go. Let's go.
Losing my mind, sleeping all these days Wide right away, I can't help it, I'm this way Every night, on my grind, 4 a.m. They tell me that I'm on, thought I told you I'm the shit Come back in the area to see where I'm at Numbers get stacked, all the way from the back of the pack Into the man of the year, got it like that They told me I couldn't rap faster than women I get with And I was like, okay, but when I get pissed off I swear I turned into a savage, like my name was OJ Reminisce back to the old days, when I wouldn't get any love Now it's like when I walk around in my city They all tryna tell me what's up I'm trying to get on my nuts, that's so cash shoes I'm a bad dude rapping for a career path Homie, I just had to, yeah Losing my mind, sleeping all these days Wide awake, I can't help it, I'm this way Every night, on my grind, 4 a.m. They tell me that I'm on, thought I told you I'm the shit Losing my mind, sleeping all these days Wide awake, I can't help it, I'm this way Every night on my grind, 4 a.m. They tell me that I'm on, thought I told you I'm the shit. Down in Aquafina, why they down some scotch? I know the final outcome is worth more than twice the cost. Love I lost, thoughts I wasted time on. Can't find love on Tinder, but I'm clicking on that icon. Might be an icon, told you turn the mic on. Put me on the stage and then it's like they turn the hype on. Progressing every track, comparing me to this and that. I don't give a damn if you can rap, then you can f***ing rap. Did this my way, Midwest on the movement Skipped on college, but I could get brain like I'm a student They tell me that I'm cocky, I tell them relax I've had my fair share of hate, it's time to talk some smack Got him like, damn, he just keep on progressing I just work, I just work until my craft is perfected yeah. Got him like, damn, he just keep on progressing I just work, I just work until my craft is perfected Losing my mind, sleeping all these days Wide awake, I can't help it, I'm this way Every night on my grind, 4 a.m. They tell me that I'm on, thought I told you I'm the shit. Losing my mind, sleeping all these days. Wide awake, I can't help it, I'm this way. Every night on my grind, 4 a.m. How you doing? Alrighty, so special guest helping me with my outro, just being a cute little face. I serve no purpose here, actually, but I'll just be here. <laughs> So that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for listening to my little rants while I was doing my makeup. Um, and like Were I said rants? before, well not really rants, they were just kind of life updates, but oh. I kind of rambled. Like I said before, if you liked that style, let me know. It was fun. I enjoyed it. And Comment it, below. It's like easy to just be getting something done while I'm filming, mm -hmm. um, if that makes any sense. It's really nice. So let me know if you liked it. If you try that leg workout, let me know. Um, my legs were shaking and I'm gonna feel this tomorrow. But that's what we want, it's good. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to give the video one of these guys. Comment down below anything you want, let's talk. Make sure you subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell so you get notified every time I post a video Feels like every my phone Monday. Just chimed. Wow, I hope you can hear that. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Peace out. What time does work best? Your mother. Your mother. <laughs> are you still filming me? No. You put her face. What do you want? I am going to text your mother back. You're going to text Brett back? <laughs> you know your mother. Oh, literally You're my mother. Actually... My actual mother. Yep. Ironic. <laughs> you actually used your mother properly. <laughs> I did. That's amazing. <laughs> Good work. Anthony, you're always here in spirit. Just so you know. We love you. We say your mother a lot. We miss you. We love you. Bye. Bye.